What's up, YouTube? This is Mathwas1987, and welcome back to another episode of My Career for WWE 2K17. We are here in NXT as Jet Storm gets set to go one on one with Kalisto of the Lucha Dragons. And after the last episode, that crazy set of matches between Storm and Baron Blade, it's about time that Jet Storm finally scored a win. And he did so last episode against Baron Blade, but now the key is for Jetstorm to keep on winning, especially if he wants to make it to the top of the NXT Championship picture, that's for sure. So tonight he takes on Kalisto, a good opportunity for Storm to go up against somebody that he hasn't faced before. He's going up against another high flyer, a fellow high flyer. Of course, Kalisto, they call him the human pinball. Because this man, well, he's got some innovative offense. He's perhaps one of the greatest high flyers in the ring today. So Jet Storm, he's going to have to perhaps rely a little bit more on his more power-based, uh, more power-based moves in his arsenal. Perhaps a little bit more of a technical approach to this matchup as he takes on Kalisto, who, well, Storm's not going to be able to outspeed this man. So he's gonna have to look to something else in order to try to get the victory. Well, Storm, he lunged at him, but Kalisto was just out of range. Oh wait, oh! Kalisto was looking for a Hurricanrana, but Jet Storm caught him in mid, mid move. As now delivers a strike to the back. Here's Storm, oh, a pump handle Uranagi slam. As Kalisto was looking to go high risk. Well, not high risk, but he was looking to go for the Hurricanrana. Storm caught him out, and now it could be Jet Storm about to take a risk. No! He missed it! Kalisto able to dodge the middle rope Phoenix Splash, but Kalisto did not capitalize. Gave Storm a little bit more time than he probably should have, and catches him out with that super kick right on the jaw. Oh, now a stomp to the arm. So I'm not entirely sure, again, like I've, I've gone into a, some brief little spiels with this career mode thing, but that whole match with Baron Blade, like, even, I have this feeling that even if I won both of them, I still wouldn't have moved up in the championship rankings. The only thing that would have happened is that Baron Blade would have fallen down the championship ladder like he did after the last match. See, I don't understand, how are you supposed to move up in the championship brackets? Is it just... I assume you have to keep winning, but I don't know if there's any other criteria that that um, that you need to like fulfill in order to advance up the rankings. Because I swear Jetstorm has been at number four for the entire series so far, and I think you have to win the NXT Championship to move up to the main roster. But I'm not entirely sure if that's the case or not. Also, another sort of interesting thing to note as I'm doing these live commentaries is that I'm having a much more difficult time reversing because I'm focusing on the words that I'm saying rather than the match that is unfolding. Another reason why this definitely would not work for universe mode videos because that is a much, uh, much higher production on the whole as opposed to career mode. Not to say that I don't like making career mode videos. It's nice to have, it's nice to have a series that's a little bit less intense in terms of editing. People might say, oh well, your career mode, you're, you're just being lazy making these videos. Well, I mean, sure, I guess you could say that, but I feel like, I feel like I've earned myself a bit of a break after all the work that I put into my universe mode series. Just to have a series where I can just kind of chill out and just play the game for what it's worth. I don't know, I think, th I don't really feel like I need to I think, it's, I think I'm okay to have that break. As Kalisto delivers a drop kick to the back of the head, and at the same time, if people are entertained by these career mode videos, even if the audience is much, much smaller than my universe mode audience, then I, I mean, as long as somebody is finding some entertainment in this series, then I'm gonna keep making videos. I mean, after 2K15, I wasn't entirely sure if I was gonna do a 2K16 career mode, but I, I still ended up doing it. And this year I didn't really have any doubts, just because I had this whole plan for Jet Storm. I knew that I wanted to use him this year, that he was going to be the guy that I decided to, to run with for this career mode series. It was back and forth, Kalisto and Storm reversal after reversal. Here's Storm. No, wait! Looking for the DDT, but again a reversal. 
And now Kalisto could be closing in for the win. Here he comes. Oh, Selena Del Sol into the pin. One, two. No, a kick out by Storm just in the nick of time. But Kalisto follows it up with a standing moonsault. All those reversals really wore Storm out. And I mean, the pacing of this matchup, like I said, when it quickens, Storm is not going to be able to keep up with Kalisto. And that's just what happened after that string of, after those, that sequence of reversals. As Kalisto now to the top rope. Look out! Oh! I think he was looking for like a, a, diamond, a diving cross body, maybe a diving arm drag, but it didn't happen. And Storm, look at this. Moonsault DDT. I do apology. Blech. I do apologize for that little, the, the door, the door slam. I do apologize for that, but there's not much I can do at this point. Drop kick to the face from Kalisto. Yeah, if you do occasionally hear extra sort of like sound effects in the background, I do apologize, but there's not much I can really control about that. I try to avoid those in my universe mode videos, and I'll try to cut them out of this commentary as much as I can. But if something happens while I'm in the middle of talking, then there's really not much I can do. So I do apologize about that. As Kalisto spiked face first into the canvas off that DDT, Storm hooks the leg. One, two, no. A kick out from Kalisto. Storm the DDT not enough to put the loot to Dragon away. As now Jet Storm setting him up. Irish whip off the ropes, ducks underneath. Baseball slide into the Hurricanrana, and this time Storm actually manages to hit it. He doesn't get countered. Storm manages to nail that baseball slide. It seems like almost every time Storm goes for it nowadays, he find he finds himself getting kicked square in the face. As Storm is looking to take the risk again. This time, he hits it. The middle rope Phoenix Splash. Hook of the leg on Kalisto. One. But Kalisto kicks at it. One. Storm in a bit of disbelief that Kalisto just kicked out of that like it was nothing. But now Storm has him up. Sizing him for the lumbar check. And there's only one thing that can follow the lumbar check. And it could be the end of days for Kalisto as Jetstorm kicks him square in the midsection, sizes him up, storm out! And that should do it, that should be it for Kalisto as Storm hooks the leg. One, two, three, it is all over, folks. Jetstorm thankfully didn't have to go to war against Kalisto tonight. Not nearly as much as he had to do with Baron Blade in the last episode. No, this time Jetstorm manages to get the victory over Kalisto. Wasn't exactly a one-sided match, but Storm did showcase his dominance. And he did manage to score his second victory in a row. So this could be the turning point for Jetstorm. That win over Baron Blade seems as though he's starting to get his confidence back. Starting to put together the victories. And maybe, maybe just maybe he can make a final push towards that NXT Championship. An instant classic, four and a half stars. As the matchup gets underway, Tyson Kidd is set to take on Baron Blade. Wait a minute. Look at that, that's Jet Storm. Jet Storm making his way to ringside. Oh, this is gonna, this is gonna piss Baron Blade off, that's for sure. This is your rival's match. You can spectate this match or skip it. You can skip it by pressing options, yada yada. So this was one thing that I always despised in WWE 2K16, my career mode, was the whole rival match thing. By the end of it, I was basically, at the end of 2K16, I ended up uh, just making my own matches and exhibition. So before, like, I, I can't really do it with Baron Blade because I don't have a Baron Blade created wrestler to use in exhibition. But before, I would just, instead of sitting here and watching this match, like, I'm, I'm not going to watch this. I'm not, like, I, I have no investment in the AI at all. That's why I play all my matches in universe mode, because the AI is garbage, in my opinion. I just can't stand it. The matches always seem to drag on for way too long. Baron Blade gets the win over Tyson Kidd. That's all we really need to know. But the whole just sitting there and watching it, I can't stand that. Like, I know there are people who make videos on that, and I can, I can enjoy watching those, but... 
Here's a match, my career mode. I'm trying to control my destiny and I enjoy seeing what other people are doing, but I don't want to have to sit through an entire match that isn't involving me. I'm okay, like, that's why I would do matches in exhibition mode in 2K16, because that way I'm at least having some sort of say in the matchup. I'm still showcasing what that person is doing, but adding my own sort of spin on it. As now we're down to five rival points, I'm not entirely sure what that means exactly. Hopefully that's a good thing, meaning that we're getting closer to uh, tying up with Baron Blade there. We still haven't moved anywhere in the championship ranking, so joy. So it looks like we've got a match with Tyson Kidd in this episode, and we've also got a promo to start it off. Is Baron Blade on the show? Bobby Lashley? Well, Bobby Lashley's back in the WWE. How about that? Thomas Woosnam. Woosnam. I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce that. Isaac Fraught. So we've got like a bunch of different a bunch of different uh, new created wrestlers, so it seems it's like all the people who were here before are now gone. So Bobby Lashley's back, that's at least cool. Probably not gonna get to face him, and I don't think I'd want to face Bobby Lashley, I'd rather just stay out of his way. Uh, so what am I gonna do? Not the mid-match run-in, let's do an entrance run-in this time. Baron Blade, he's not even gonna get to start his match with Brody Tyson. What am I gonna bring with me to the ring? Hmm, I don't have a championship to bring, so I'm not gonna do that. Steel chair, the old faithful. Let's do that, let's go with the steel chair. So we're gonna take out Baron Blade later on. He's not even gonna get his match with Brody Tyson. I've already attacked him post-match. I've attacked him during interviews. I can't attack him mid-match because it, it, I think it's just gonna make me sit there and spectate the whole time, which is what it's done before. Like, it'll set up, the game will set up run-ins uh, on its on its own accord, and I just hate that. I hate not being able to get involved in the match and play a significant part. Just standing there and managing the whole time, not really my cup of tea. If I was in a tag team, I wouldn't mind it, but let's just move on with the rest of the show. Let's get to this promo. That's the kind of reaction that makes the WWE Universe one of a kind. Rain or shine, the Universe always makes their voices, makes sure their voices are heard. That's something I can respect. In fact, that's exactly why I'm out here tonight. Because it's about time my voice is heard too. Could Jetstorm be turning a new leaf, perhaps? Today, I bought a new pair of boots. They're pretty comfortable, actually. They tie up real nice. And actually, they've got a nice shine to them. One day, maybe I'll wear them out here for you idiots to envy. Well, so much for turning a new leaf. Jetstorm, he... He almost had me there. I thought maybe, just maybe, but uh, apparently that is not the case. I look around in this company and I see a lot of things that need to change, just like my boots. I see a lot of people who are getting places they shouldn't be. And then I see me and a conscious lack of respect being paid my way. So tonight, I'm letting you all know that I'm here to collect on that debt. If I gotta come out next week and say the same thing, I'll do it. If I gotta prove myself by knocking someone in the back, I'll do it. If I gotta get on my knees and beg, well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I just want my shot, damn it. And that's all I've got to say about that. Change will come. I'll be the head of it. And you'll be as voiceless as you always have been. Okay, so again, not a very good promo. Things are not... I personally, like, when they took points away from the whole, um, the whole, what what was the answer? The one right after the boots. I didn't understand that. I thought that was a good follow-up. Like, even though it didn't mention the boots specifically, I thought that was a good follow-up answer, but they took points away. Screw you, career mode. Although, I do understand a lot of the answers I've sometimes taken have been a bit inconsistent, so still trying to work out this whole promo engine. Sometimes just trying to create a cohesive narrative, uh, at least what you think you're creating, you're not always getting what you what you think that you're picking. So let's just move on to the to the match. As Jetstorm is looking ready, Tyson Kid adjusting those knee pads. Referee rings the bell. The match is underway, and Jetstorm is not going to waste any time. Jetstorm is out to make a statement tonight. If his promo work can't really get the job done. Well then he's just gonna have to 
back it up in the ring. He's going to have to really just really outdo himself than he typically would in any other case. But at the moment, I want to talk about my career mode. I want to talk about WWE 2K17 in general. So if there are some of you um, who haven't got the game yet, I'm, I'm, ma blah, 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 blah. I'm mainly addressing you in this statement. Uh, so as you've seen in my trials and tribulations throughout my career this year, or maybe this is the first episode of my career mode that you're watching from me. And maybe you're wondering, is my career worth playing? If you're maybe on the fence about buying WWE 2K17, and if, perhaps if my career mode is really the deciding factor for you, if you're, if my career mode's not good, you don't want to play it, I would say that my career is altogether, all things, or all things considered rather, it really isn't that much different from 2K16 at this point. I know that there's the extra Paul Heyman challenge that you can get into later on, but from what I understand about that, it really isn't anything spectacular. It's just kind of like, well, you have your authority status, and then from what I understand, the Paul Heyman status is basically you just got to fulfill a bunch of different challenges. So kind of like what you'd have to do at the behest of Vicky Guerrero back in WWE 2K15. I haven't experienced it for myself, so that might be inaccurate. I'm just going off of hearsay, but from what I understand, that's how the whole Paul Heyman guy situation works. Ultimately, if career mode is what you're banking on in terms of whether or not to buy this game, personally, I would say just wait for, perhaps just wait for next year, if career mode is your deciding factor. If you have WWE 2K17 already and you're debating whether or not to play career mode, I'm gonna be honest, my, uh, my perspective is going to be a bit biased because I don't play a lot of video games. That's just I don't that's just not something that I typically do in my spare time. If I'm not making YouTube videos, I'm not playing video games. Like it's very rare. There are games that I do play every now and then, but it's not something that I it's not like a regular hobby of mine. Usually, I'm making YouTube videos and that's why I'm playing video games. So, typically the only game that I play is WWE 2K17. So, why did I give all that context? Well, the point is Personally, I don't think my career mode is really worth playing if you don't have any sort of other investment in it. If you didn't like my career in the past years, you're not going to like my career this year. Unless things change when you get to the main roster, which I am... Well, I, I mean, like, things could get a little better in terms of, like, storylines and whatnot, but overall, the main sort of crux of the series is the same. You still have to go through the same monotonous tasks face off with the same people over and over because, I don't know, you don't, like, there are other opponents that I could have faced by now, but instead I'm facing Tyson Kidd again. I faced Zack Ryder several times, just sort of giving you my sort of experience personally, and again, like I say, I don't play a lot of video games. For two, in 2K16, for example, I, once I was done with my My Career series, I never touched, well, I won't say that I never touched the mode ever again, I did go back to it for a brief time just to kind of see if things got better on the main roster and no I played a couple of weeks and then I just basically gave up on the mode entirely mostly because it just I don't know it bores me the monotonous tasks facing people over and over again repeat matches are not my thing and universe mode it I just like to focus more on that rather than wasting my time playing through career mode when like if I'm making a YouTube series on it, and I'm having fun doing that, people are enjoying the series, I'm gonna keep making videos on it, but once I'm done with that, there really is no no point, no reason for me to get invested in this game mode. So personally, I think my career mode is entirely skippable this year. Like I said, I'm only in the NXT portion thus far, but I highly doubt that things are going to dramatically improve once I make it to the main roster to the point where I say hold the phone no this is worth playing you have to go back you have to play this game now if that does happen which I am doubtful that it will there are some career mode series out there as well who people are already on the main roster uh, I, I don't watch them the only other career mode series that I've watched actually I mean I there are a couple career mode series that I do watch on occasion, but this year I just haven't had the time because I've been focusing so heavily between videos and schoolwork as well that I just haven't had the time to do so. But if I had to recommend any other career mode series, well, hold on, let's see if Bobby Lashley can get this win. Nope. 
Well, a pretty lackluster return for Lashley, but Woo Snam, he gets the win over Tyler Breeze, and Isaac gets the win over Zack Ryder. So I guess we gotta get our hands on Baron Blade next. And I do apologize that the style of my editing has changed a bit for the past couple of episodes because I'm doing the live commentary thing. So usually I cut these menu screens out, but I'm gonna keep them in for this one. I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna do this live commentary thing going forward. It's just something that I happen to have the time to do so at the moment. So I'm gonna give it a try and just see how it works out. It might be for a couple of episodes and then I might just go back to the old style. We'll see how things go. But in terms of my career mode, I think it's skippable. I know that there are other career mode series out there. If I had any to recommend, if you're personally not enjoying my series but you want to watch someone else's instead, uh, I would recommend either John Cutter, which is of course Brendan Plays is my career, or I would re I would recommend Mike Vita, which is uh, Notorious Vita. Both of them, both of them do my career series. They're both pretty good. I'll be honest, I haven't had as much time to check out my, uh, I haven't had as much time to check out Vita's series this year, but last year his series was really good, 2K15 was really good, I just don't have the time to really keep up with all the episodes, and the same goes for, for Brendan Plays. I watched a couple of his, but I just don't have the time at the moment, so I'll probably catch up on, catch up on them in the future, but yeah, if you're looking for more My Career videos, and as well, both of them make Universe Mode videos. Vita is going to be starting up his uh, Hardcore Underground series. He made a pilot episode for that. It's looking pretty sick, so I'd say even if you're not really looking for uh, career videos, if you're just looking for other WWE YouTubers, I would recommend those two. Those two are pretty good. And of course, there are other people who I could recommend, uh, but I'm going to hold off on that for right now. Right now, I ha I'm I got to focus on putting Baron Blade face first into this steel chair with the storm out. Oh, oh, come on. That was a terrible time to cut me off, game. Really? Why not just cut me off after the finisher? Lame. So it looks like we're trying to get some more rivalry points against Baron Blade. Somehow, it seems like that affected our status with the Ascension. Um. Okay. So we're back here. Main event, Finn Balor gets the win over Bo Dallas. So that matchup with Baron Blade wound up being a no contest, thanks to yours truly. Can I please move up to number three in the championship rankings now? Have I done enough? I beat Tyson Kidd, I laid out Baron Blade. I'm on like a three match winning streak at the moment. What more do I have to do to move up in the rankings? I've been on bigger winning streaks than this in the past, and I still haven't moved up. Is it gonna happen this time? We're moving on to week four. Final week before NXT TakeOver Brooklyn again! Oh, and I didn't move up in the rankings. That's gonna do it for this episode. I'm going to stop before my rage breaks. So, until next time, keep on YouTubing. What's up, YouTube? This is Mathos97, and welcome back to another episode of my career for WWE 2K17. We're here with the... No, we're not gonna even count that.